Once again, Shabbat Shalom to you and your Shabbat. I know it's been a long time, but every time when we get together, it's like there has been no time that we have been apart. I want to thank each and every one of you for being in this space with me right now. I want to thank you and welcome you. If this is your first time or your multiple time. In ancient love songs of old. I was going to say files of records. <laughs> but I just want to say just thank you for tuning in. I'm going to read this scripture before we get started. I just wanted to thank our Amma and our Abba, our heavenly parents above, for everything that they have done and for everything that they are doing. I want to give all honor and all praise to Hawa who has the power over life and death. Over health and over sickness. Over peace and over chaos. Just wanna thank why, for we know that our heavenly parents, our Abba and our Arma, has the first and the last say in every matter and in every situation, no matter what it is. So if you would get your, your Torah, we're going to open up to Psalms 31. I got the King James Version open on my computer. You know, we just gone. Don't go. We, we gonna take off, okay? Says in thee, O Hawa, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thy ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for in house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, thy namesake lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For thou art my strength. Into thy hand I commit my spirit, my ruach, my soul. Thou hast redeemed me. For a while you have redeemed us. And we place our trust. We place our life, our soul in your hands. Oh, Hawa of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanity, but I trust in Hawa. I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy, for thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in, in advance and has not shut me up until the hands of my enemies. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, Hawa, for I am in trouble. My eyes is consumed with grief 
You have my soul in my belly. For my life is spent in grief in my years with sliding. My strength fell is because of my iniquities and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among my enemies, but especially among my neighbors in a fear to my acquaintances. They that did see me with, without flee from me. So Lakia, give me one second. Give me one second, fam. I just ask y'all to be patient with me this evening. Just be patient with me. Ooh. Oh, wow. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fears was on every side while they took counsel together against me, against us. They, they'd arrived to take away my life, but I trust in thee, O Hawaii. I said, thou art my power. My times are in thy hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemy and from them that pursue me. Free us from the hands of our enemies, Hawaii, and from those that pursue us and wish to take our life. Make, the, make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me from thy, save me for your mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Hawaii, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in their graves let the lion lips be put to silence which speak grievously things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous oh how great is thy goodness which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee which thou hast wrote for them that trust in thee before the sons of men thou shall hide them in a seat in the secrets in the secrets of your presence from the pride of man thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strike of tongues from the strife of tongues bless be hua for hua has shown me hua's marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I say in my haste, I am cut off from before thy eyes. Nevertheless, thou heardest the voice of my supplication when I cried unto thee, O oh, love, Hawaii, all ye children of the Most High, for Hawaii preserveth the faithful and plentifully rewards the pride, the prideful doers. Wow. Be of good courage, and Hawashra shall strengthen your hearts, all ye that hope in Hawa. Allah, Hawa, Hawa. Take it back. I apologize, Salakia, for the volume not being up, fam. Shabbat, my Salakia.
La Hua. That is a that is our prayer. Our Hebrew prayer. In Hebrew, I'm gonna read it. And um so we can uh, so everyone can understand what he was saying in English. Give me one second. Anabakowak is Hebrew for please with power. Please with power. Anabakowak says please with the power of your great right hand. Free, free our bands. Accept the song of your people. Empower us. Make us pure. Oh, awesome Hawa. Please, almighty one. The seekers of your unity. The seekers of your unity. Watch them like the pupil of your eye. Bless them. Make them pure. Have mercy on them. Your just bestows upon them. Your justness bestows upon them always. Tremendous Holy One. Hala Hawa. In your, abund your abundance goodness lead your people oh unique one exalted one turn your face to your people remember who remembers your holiness accept our prayer and hear our cry knower of secrets blessed is thy name of the glory of Hawa forever and ever. Whew. Some of the Shabbat know that I have spoke to that um last year for about 10 to 11 months straight my Shabbat had to lay to rest 15 to 16 loved ones within a 10 to 11 month span Our family has been dealing with um, a lot of grief lately. You know, and uh, last year, and just like a lot of the Shabbat, because we are not exempt, y'all also experienced loss. Y'all also had to lay loved ones to rest. And I know that we are in a transition time and some of our loved ones is leaving due to, you know, natural causes and others are senseless accidental deaths. But some of them are natural. So I know we all have been in this, been in a state of sorrow, but also in a state of rejoicing. Because we are rejoicing, our, we are rejoicing for our restoration and for our redemption. And for us coming back together as a nation, our growth, us moving forward, us
us walk in a path that was designed for us to walk. And I know that, um, whew, I know this in this journey, this path again, this journey get kind of heavy. I know this journey can, uh, can get heavy on us. I just want to speak encouragement. I want to speak life. I want to speak joy to each and every one of you. I want to speak love to each and every one of y'all. I really do. Um, so uh, we thought we was uh, doing good on a good foot, you know, and... Uh, you know, that everything was, you know, getting back to, you know, where it needed to be. And um, on Saturday, my little brother, he left the house to go to his security job. And uh, it was storming real bad that night. You know, and he drove from our house to his job site, which is in Fort Worth, which is about 30 minutes from us. And we didn't get a call that um, that he made it to work. He didn't text. You know, so I just kind of figure like, you know, he'll hit me up when he got time, you know. They, you know, um, you know, they, the guy, they change his shifts. He coming on, do give him a report. Blase, blase, he'll, you know, when he calm down, he'll hit me up and let me know everything is good. So, around 4.30, I go to bed around 4.30 in the morning, I get up. Cause I'm hearing something, so I get up and <laughs> it was just my son still up, you know. He couldn't sleep; his stomach was bothering him. He was still up, so I told him, you know, you need to go to bed, man. It's late, you know. Go to bed, but I looked to see if my brother was in his room, and he wasn't. You know, I didn't hear his phone. I didn't hear him snoring. So I'm like, well, maybe he, you know, got off work because he normally get off around like 4, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And he um, left the house around like 9.25, 9.30. And um, he wasn't there. And uh, I was like, well, maybe he would. His fiance, maybe he went, you know, by her house and, or they had plans or somewhere or, or something like that. So, you know, I just chopped it up that he was with his fiance. They together every weekend, every time they can get a chance to be together, they they together, you know. So um, Sunday, the rising came and. We still didn't hear from him. So we got a call around at around like 12, 31 o'clock that my brother had been in a car accident. And the night before in the They need us to uh, <clears throat> to come and identify him. To come and identify him because he didn't have his wallet or anything wasn't found on him. Uh, when he was found, and we needed to get to the hospital as soon as we can. So 
we got there. They told us that my brother was in a car accident. They told us that due to the storm and the rain that he's, his car hydroplaned, rolled over and ejected him out the car. That they found him outside of his vehicle. This is what they told us Sunday. This is what they told us Sunday. Uh, he don't have uh, his injuries that he sustained are skull fractures in the front and the back of his of his head and they told us on Sunday that uh, his neck wasn't broke or anything like that but he had a lot of scrapes and cuts and everything and he had already started to swell and that was Sunday. They said on Sunday they was going to do a MRI to look at brain activity, brain damage to see what damage his brain has sustained it due to the car accident. They said on Monday that um, that he had suffered severe severe brain damage. And his neck is cracked. They told us that my brother don't have any brain function. The only brain function that he do have is keeping his heart beating and have him breathing. They have him on a ventilator, but he is breathing on his own. They told us that... Um, the neurosurgeon told us that um, the way they told us that there's no surgery that they can do on his brain to alleviate his swelling or his bleeding because he does have bleeding on the brain. There's nothing that they can do for his swelling and for his breathing because it's not isolated in one place due to the multi fractures of his skull and of his face. These people told us that the neurosurgeon told us, the neurosurgeon told us that in the many cases he has seen like my brother, there is no recovery. Said the way his injuries are and his bleeding is not isolated to one pocket of his brain. The bleeding is scattered all over his brain is microcellular, microscopic. They can't do a surgery on his whole brain. They saying that
They asked us, uh, what did we want to do? What did we want to do? Because, uh, there's only so much that they can do. And they can't give them comfort, comfort care, which is hospice. To give them comfort and keep them pain free. This is what they told us on Monday. This is what they told us on Monday. And that um, if he don't make any changes or if he don't wake up, then, you know, we will have to make certain decisions. Monday, I came home. Ever since this started, I have been petitioning Hawaii on my brother's behalf. I have been petitioning Hawaii on my brother's behalf. I told my parents that uh, my brother stayed with him that Monday night. I told my brother I'd come in. No, my mom stayed with him that Monday night. And uh, I told my mom I'd relieve her. Tuesday morning, afternoon, after she speak with the doctors and get more information, I'd come in the afternoon and relieve her. Tuesday, Tuesday, before I leave to go see my brother, I make him an oil, a crystal herbal healing oil. Since they said that his injuries are microcellular. <laughs> His brain cells. <laughs> they tried to tell us that his brain cells is dead. And they told us that there is no way that the brain can come that the body that the brain cells can be rejuvenated and be restored that there was nothing that they could do for him this is what they told us on Monday on Monday night me and Red Dragon purified ourselves. Purified ourselves to step into the ethers to position to to ask for assistance spiritually from my brother. Tuesday morning, I made the oil. Tuesday morning, I made the oil. I made it with cell rejuvenating herbs, anti-inflammatory herbs, antiviral, antibacterial. Brain stimulation, cell re regeneration, so his body can start to heal, so his body can start to heal. 
when I seen my brother on Tuesday, they told us on Sunday that the first 72 hours is when you're going to have the most swelling. And this will let us know after the 72 hours. If he becomes alert or not. But the body has to process the trauma that he sustained. So Tuesday, I made the oil. I was going to make it on Monday, but I got a call and we had to rush to the hospital on Monday. So I didn't make it to Tuesday morning. To, to Tuesday rising. I went there to the hospital. His fiance was there. His fiance, my daughter and I, we washed him down with sea salt to cleanse his body and to put up a barrier of protection around him. We cleansed his skin with sea salt to reduce the swelling. We then applied the oil in our hands. We petitioned Hua. We petitioned the herbs and the oil. We petitioned the crystals that the power that they were designed with for them to unleash it and feed his body on a microscopic level on a cellular level that his body rejuvenates and regenerates neurons brain pathways that they wake up and that they grow and they attach. This was on Monday. No, this was Tuesday. We covered him with our hands and we moved our hands up and down his body using our chi, focusing all our chi on his body to heal. My brother's face was swollen. His right ear was detached and hanging on. They had to place his ear back into his skull and reattach it. His eyes were starting to bulge at the bottom due to all the swelling and the pressure. All the eyes inside the brain, the brain is swelling. It's making his eyes protrude. We rubbed him down from the top of his head. Every hair follicle. Every piece of skin we could touch and rub and place our energy on and place the energy of a while on him and within him. We asked for dragons, for dracons to be at his bedside and surround his room that no negativity and no negative energy can come in to try to steal his life because he's still fighting. He fighting. He's fighting. So we must fight with him. I stay with him Tuesday. Like I said, I relieved my mom. My daughter left. She got kicked out of the hospital. They had a rule no 12 year olds can be on the floor, so she couldn't see him on Sunday. So Monday. It was a new nurse. I said she was 12. She was, I mean, I said she was 13 because the rule is 12 and under. You can't be on the floor. You can't see the patients. She's 13. She'll be 13 in a couple of months. We went and we prayed for him. We laid hands on him. We laid our chi on him.
This was Tuesday afternoon. They left. They left. No, I relieved my brother because my mama came Tuesday night. I relieved my brother because Sunday night, his fiance stayed with him. Monday night, my second oldest brother, Jay, stayed with him. Tuesday night, my mama stayed with him. My mom relieved me on Tuesday. I left the oil. I brought crystals in his room. I brought some candles, even though they can't be lit. He has a dream catcher right next to his, right by his, his crown. Wednesday morning, Tuesday night, me and Red Dragon once again went into the ethers to petition for my brother. Wednesday, my mother, she called after the doctors, after she rubbed them down real good that night a few times, after I rubbed them down every two hours, we rubbing them down. We rubbing him down every two hours. We massaging him. We moving his arms and his legs. Wednesday afternoon, my mother tell me that the test they did, that his pupils were, at first they were uneven and they wasn't reacting. Wednesday morning, when they checked them, <laughs> Wednesday morning, when they checked them, when they checked his pupils, they were even. And they was reactive. His swelling and his face and his skull and his eyes had reduced more than 50%. His eyes, the swelling in his eyes reduced 80%. When we touched them and rubbed them, he was moving. He was grabbing us. We were talking to him. He's shaking his head. He trying to shake his head, moving his lips like he trying to speak. Moving his eyes like he trying to open up his eyes. And we just keep repeating to him. CJ, wake up, man. I told him when I was rubbing him down. That you the son of the creator. You are the son of Hawa. You have the power to speak life and death to yourself. You speak life. You tell yourselves to regenerate. You tell them. You tell your stem cells and your spine to go throughout your body and to repair. You tell the fracture in your neck to heal, to heal. This is what I told my brother on Tuesday. And I seen them on Wednesday, cause I stayed with them Wednesday night. It was my turn to stay with them on Wednesday night. You know, my mom left with a smile because he was moving. He was reacting to touch. They was telling us this was Wednesday on Monday. They told us 
we don't have a hope for anything. He will be a vegetable. What we see is what we can expect to have back from my brother. They told us that my brother is not coming back. On Wednesday, swelling in his head, down 50%. Swelling in his face and in his eyes, down 75%. Movement. On Wednesday, I stayed with him. Spoke to him. Spoke with him. Laughed with him. Fuss with them, dance with them, song with them, pray with them, rub them down, constantly speaking life into them, letting them know that I see them and I recognize them and I know the power he have, and I know he know the power he to have, so use it. You say all the time, these doctors don't know what they talking about. You show them who you are. You show them who you a son of. Command your body. Command it. You have the authority to command it. I had 24 hours with my brother to do this. Between 22 to 24 hours. Just us. I played regeneration frequencies. So his body can have the healing frequency of 432 healing of nerve and cell regeneration frequency healing. And speaking life into him. Telling him that we need him. That he's needed and he's loved. And he got so many things to accomplish. So many things. That was Wednesday. That was Wednesday. He had a bad night Wednesday. He was having a lot of coughing, a lot of hiccuping. A lot of coughing, a lot of hiccuping. They took an x ray of his abdomen and his intestines Thursday morning. They're clear, just filled with gas. He's a little constipated, not impacted, but constipated. Excuse me if I'm giving too much information, but please just be patient with me, please. I just ask you to just, just be patient with me, okay? Uh, uh, be patient with me. Be patient with Anaka. Uh, Thursday morning. And Thursday, oh, Thursday, he was just tired. He was tired, so he was in a restful state. Thursday afternoon, about 2 my oldest brother, face. I FaceTime my oldest brother so he could talk to him. And while he was talking to him, his eyes started moving. He had been at rest all that day. His eyes started moving. He started to move his head as he was, as he was trying to shake his head yes, as to tell my brother, yes, I hear you. And yes, I know what you're saying. And yes, I will tell my body. Because we've been telling him the same thing. We've been telling him the same thing. We've been telling him the same thing. They told us he would be a vegetable on Monday and he wouldn't wake up. Today they told my family this morning that If he open his eyes, the only thing they think he's going to do is just open his eyes. He will never speak again. 
but he would be in a vegetable-like state. But his eyes would be open. I said all that to say this. It's their job to give us the worstest news possible. They give you the worstest news possible so you can make rash decisions. So we can lean on our own understanding and make certain decisions that harm us and harm our loved ones. Me and my family came into a consensus and agreement that my brother is coming home. He will be waking up soon or sooner. We have faith. We have a knowing in Hawa and our Creator, our Abba and our Ama above, and they are in control of this situation. They are in control. As you've seen earlier, I got my feathers on because we at war. We in spiritual war. Physical and spiritual. Physical and spiritual. And I am warring for my brother. I'm warring for him. I'm warring for him. We are warring for him. Every word that they have given us, Hua, every word that they have given us, Hua, we do not accept, we do not agree, we do not take it, we do not take it in into our psyche and into our mind and our thoughts. We set those thoughts on fire, we set those words on fire, Hua. We put death to those words. We, being your children, children of the creator, copper color conductors, you have placed the power in us. We take our power. We use our power and our energy and we place it forth for healing for Charles Jefferson, CJ, my little brother, my baby love. We speak and command life. We speak and command his body to heal and to rejuvenate and to renew. He is in the best state he could be in, which is sleep. All his body needs to do is just focus on healing. And we will aid him in every aspect that we, that you allow us to. We stand before you, Hua. We stand before you in your presence. As humble as we know how, bringing the names of our loved ones who, who the healthcare industry have tried to write off. Our family will not be, there will be, a, there will not be another casualty of your children. We do not accept the words. We accept healing. And renewal. Those are the words that we accept. We accept life. We accept rejuvenation. Regeneration. We accept it now. And we say Tawada for healing our family. 
that they have written off and said that they have, they are at death's door. For you command the breath of life and the angel of death. You have given us authority over all of creation, everything that you have created. We use our authority right now, Hua. For you have stated when two or three are gathered in your name and in your presence, in your midst, you, there you shall be also. For this is spread through the ethers. And I asked my Shabbat to come on one accord in assisting us. Standing in a gap for our loved ones. Standing in a gap. No matter what they say, Hawaii, we know you to be a healer. We know you to be our redeemer, our savior, Hawaii. For you save, you have the power of life and death. And I say he's not going anywhere because he's still with us. We say, Charles, wake up. 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 Charles. Wake up, baby. Wake up. Oh, why thank you for waking them up. They haven't gave us the news, but I know you're going to do it. I know you're going to do it a while. I know you're going to do it. I beseech thee. I beseech you, oh great one. Things I have asked and petitioned you for. This is the biggest thing I could ever imagine. I could ever imagine. I ask you a why. For the power that you have placed in the herbs and in the crystals and in the oils. For them to work. Together and heal them. Heal his mind, body, and his soul. Let him know that we stand with him. And he's not alone. Because you are the keeper, Hawaii. The keeper, Hawaii, of our ways. I like your family. <laughs> no, y'all like D. Miss D, you working brand new? <laughs> it's back to the phone. They recording. It's back to the phone. We'll take it back. This is just a minor, minor setback for a greater comeback. Hawaii. Hawaii, for you are the keeper of our ways, and we just, we just say keep us Hawaii. Keep us a while. I'm going to read another scripture. I'm going to read Psalms 109. It says, Hold not, hold not thy peace, O Hawa, of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against us. They have spoken against us with lying tongues. They compass pass us about also with words of hatred and fought against us without a cause for my love they are my my adversaries but i give myself unto prayer 
Salakia. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hated and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned and let this prayer, his prayer become sin. Let his days be few and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let his children be con continually vagabonds and beg and let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. Out of their desolate places. Let the extorter catch all that he has and let the stranger spoil his labor. Let there be none to extend mercy un unto him, neither let there be any to favor his fatherless children. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with Hawa, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them be before Hawa continuously, that he may be cut off the memory of them from the earth, because that he remembered not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the brokenhearted. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him. As he delighted in not, not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing, like as with his garment, so let it be, let it come unto him. Bows like water, bowls of water, and like oil unto his bones. Let it be unto him the garments which cover him, and girdeth wherein he is girded continuously. Let this be the reward of my adversaries from Hawa. Let this be the reward of those who speak deaf unto us, who try to write us off. Let this be their reward, Hawa. Let in of them that speak evil against our souls, but do thou for me for us do this for us a while O power for thy name's sake because thy mercy is good deliver deliver us for i am poor needy and my heart is wounded within me i am gone like the shadow when it declineth i am tossed up and down as a lotus, a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh f fadeth of fatness. I become also a reproach unto them when they look upon me, they shake their heads. Hawaii, oh, when I walked in a hospital with my feathers at, on my crown, guarded. Dressed in white. They looked at me and they shook their heads. Help me. Help us, O oh, Hawa, our power. O oh, save us according to thy mercy. That they that that they may know it, that this is thy hand. That you, Hua, has done it. Help me. Help us, Hua. Help us. Help us, Hua. Oh, Hua, our power. Oh, save us according to thy mercies. That they may know that this is your hand. That, that you, Hua, has done it that you who has done it let them let them curse but bless us 
when they arise. Let them be ashamed, but let thy servant rejoice. Curse them, Hawa, but bless us. When they arise, Hawa, let them be ashamed, but when we arise, let your servants be of a rejoiceful heart. Let us rejoice, Hawa. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame and let them be covered and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will greatly praise the net. I will greatly praise Hawa. Hala, Hawa, Hawa with my mouth. Yea, I will praise Hawa among the multitude. For Hawa shall stand at the, at the right hand of the poor to save him from those that condemn his soul. Salakia so family, here we go. Are we getting they trying to hijack a naga. Let's go. Hawaii, you are the keeper of our way, Hawaii. Sawada, hala, Hawaii. That's
keeper of our ways. Down, I lost my. I think it was. Hold on, <laughs> I got kind of confused with my scriptures, y'all. Give me one second. I think I started off with that's 109. Hold on, give me a second. Salakia kind of, kind of lost myself, my place. Truly want to thank everybody that have all my new subscribers, all of my. Oh, subscribers, I just want to say Tawada for subscribing, Tawada for liking the videos, um, and for commenting. Um, I just want to say I truly do appreciate uh, each and every one of you. To all of uh, everyone, previous and recent, who have um, purchased any products from Ancient Herbal Love Song, we just want to say thank you. Um, anyone who have placed orders recently, you will be getting an email from me um, about delaying your order. If you choose to, if you want a refund, you can have a refund. I'll send you a refund. That's no problem. Um, I just wanted to take some time out to show love and appreciation to each and every one of you. I want to show love and appreciation for the cons and the ether. 432 that's you know that's keeping the water flowing and keeping the fire burning to the real ones i salute you i salute you and much a hive and shalom and much a hive to each and every one of you who's listening to my voice at this moment okay i read 30 okay okay so we gone Okay, so we're going to go into Psalm 61 and short, and I think we're going to do Psalm 61 and Psalms 23. So we're going to read Psalms 23, and then we're going to go into Psalms 61. It says, Oh, Hawa. says, Hawa is my shepherd, I shall not want. Hawa, mem makest me to lie down in green pastures. For why leadest me besides the still waters? For why restoreth my soul? For why leadest me in the path of righteousness? For Hawa's name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, as I dwell in the house of Hawaii forever. As we dwell in the house of Hawaii forever, family, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. All the days. We're going to go to Psalm 61. Psalm 61. It says, Hear our cry, O Hawaii. Attend to our prayers. For the end of the earth will we cry unto thee. When our hearts is overwhelmed, lead us to the rock that is higher than we. For thou has been a shelter for us in a strength in a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle. We will abide in thy tabernacle forever. We will trust in the in the coverts. In, in the covert of thy wings, Salah, 
for for thou O Hawah has heard our vows and has given all has given us the heritage of those that fear thy name though thou will prolong the king's life and his years at as many generations he shall abide before Hawa forever oh prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him Hawa we ask you to prepare mercy and truth we ask you to reserve my brother we ask you to return him to restore him to 100% capability, Hawaii. For what we ask is not out of your hands, for you can do any and all things, any and all things, Hawaii. Preserve them, Hawaii. So will I sing praise unto thy name forever, Hawaii that I may daily perform my vows, that I may daily keep the code, that I may daily say hua hua tawada hua from the depths of my being. Wow. Family, I just want to say thank you. I want to say it's a lot to end a prayer. I want to say it is so. Healing is so. Rejuvenation is so. Regeneration is so. Because Hawa said it so. Hawa said, ask and we shall receive. Hawa said, when we speak, he will inc- Hawa will incline, our Bob will incline his ear to hear us. Our mom will cover us in her feathers of protection. Keep us close like a baby. I want to say Shalom, Machaha, Shabbat Shalom to the home team. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got work to do. And all the work that y'all have completed this far is amazing. And I am so proud of each and every one of you. Each and every one of you. So with that being said, family, I want to say thank you for tuning in the ancient love songs of old. Which are your pa, aqua, miss D. Season 5, Episode 1. Know who you are. Love yourself so we can love each other, family. Let's go. It's okay to take time out. Come on, come on. Make yourself the wise side. So you don't slip and fall. But I can tell you be easy. We got lots to do. Come on, Aqua. Aqua, yeah. Because your day starts with you. Take time. Take time. Because when you love yourself, you can love the rest. Take time. Take time. Because when you love yourself, Blue, purple, gold.
blue, purple, red, white, linen, gold thread. CJ, we need you. Wake up, baby. Come on. I know you taking that time for that self-love, baby. To heal yourself, baby. Take your time. When you ready, gonna be right here, baby. Love you, baby. It's my plea to the eaters. Wow.